We're Mount Kimby, I'm Kai. I'm Dom. Here in Amoeba for What's in Your Bag. I've bought a load of records from that label in a charity shop in my home, my old hometown of Peckham in South London. I found a uh, one of these records and it's pretty much the only good thing I found out of that shop ever. What was it? Uh, it was the Daz Band. Um, Daz Band. Daz Band. And I'd, I hadn't heard it and I put it on at home and it was amazing. amazing. So really I've just really kind of bought everything that I found with that on it. Um, <laughs> McCoy's Heiner. This one's got Freddie Hubbard and Bobby Hutchison on it. So it's gotta be something, something worth listening to. And then this one, which is just next to it, but ha uh, it features uh, Bill Cobham as well. And I'm just really into his piano playing, the point behind his playing. Uh, it's very like percussive. And 199 as well, which is very good. <laughs> George Duke, pretty self explanatory. Uh, and El Party con la crema, slightly less self-explanatory. I was just going through all the kind of salsa stuff, and uh, I thought that this looked pretty decent. I don't know what it what it sounds like, but we shall see. Some British music, Stereo Lab, uh, great record, dots and loops. worked with the drummer from Stereo Lab on our record. A little bit, he, he had a studio which was quite close to us. We went there to record drums and, and stuff like that and he let us use a lot of his equipment and that was kind of uh, the beginning of us getting more interested in, in drum machines as well. He had kind of a lot of interesting, unique bits of kit. I guess this record's got quite a mixture of kind of analog and uh, more traditional kind of methods of recording and also some interesting uses of drum machines and stuff like that. It's quite a, it's got a really, Tight sound the whole record. So, big up Andy. On that. Yeah, we've got uh, the Seventh Veil, which is music from the Middle East. Um, I was I was kind of brought up in Dubai for five or six years when I was younger, so I thought go back to my roots and um, have a listen to what's on this. There's you got stuff from Armenia, so the Armenian Dance Party, and um, various people that I have no idea who they are, but it should be quite interesting. Yellow Magic Orchestra. Apparently the uh, Japanese craft work, but that <laughs> remains to be seen. This is, uh, you could call it a gift, or payment for losing a bet uh, for somebody. So, but it would be interesting, if it's, if it's really good, I might keep it. Uh, yeah, my last one is uh, Music Out of Africa which is kind of in the same thread as the seventh fail, just trying to find stuff on there that, um, that is exciting and new and interesting. And then Johnny Mitchell and Charles Mingus, which I haven't actually heard. I was speaking to somebody at an interview about, about Charles Mingus and he was shocked and appalled that I hadn't had this record, so now's a good opportunity to to give it a listen. That cat was clanking with coin. Well, he must have had a genie in a lamp, cause every time I dropped a dime, I blew it, he kept ringing bells, nothing to it. Well, thank you so much for talking with us. No worries. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Yeah.